I have received a lot of hostility. I think there are different types of hostility. I think there are people who have just seen it in the press for 20 years and said, oh, this is her. And I think there are other people who are more vicious. So I think the ones who see it in the press and say this is her, they don't really know and it's really not their fault. I mean, it's not their fault that, that Fujimori decided to make me their, you know, like number one f uh, image of terrorism. It's not their fault. It's not my fault either. It's Fujimori's fault. Would you have a rich community? Sure, sure. Yeah, that's something that my, my objective is to. Yeah, that's something that my, my objective is to, to continue to work for so on, in social justice issues. Um, Different capacity, obviously, because I'm, I'm older, I'm not, I don't think that older people need to be taking the forefront of things. I am, I am willing You're to be, be okay. out in the streets. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I could be out in the streets, yeah. but I don't need to be a leader, I can be a follower. Right. So I, I think uh, it's, it's good to let uh, new generations uh, help the older ones sort of figure it out. Um, I'm, uh, I actually have a lot of faith in that. In a case, it wasn't just about prisons. It was about, it was about the prison regime. It wasn't about just, you know, release these people. had to do... Yo lamento mucho la, la muerte, el sufrimiento que, que ha ocurrido en el Perú. No, no puedo pedir disculpas por lo que no he hecho, pero sí por los actos, por mis actos o mis palabras que hayan ofendido, sí. Pido perdón, pido disculpas. Grounded, perhaps at the time to not recognize the impact. I think internationally Peru is seen as um, a success story in terms of how it's addressed um, the crimes of the past. It had a very, a very successful truth commission that really dug deep and explored the nature of the crimes that occurred and did, pro did a call for reparations and prosecutions. And there's a couple of high profile prosecutions like the Fujimori prosecution. Um, but if you dig a little deeper and look at what else is happening in terms of members of the armed forces, it gets a little bit more tricky. Um, so on the one hand, you see in Peru a strong push to put people on trial and try to hold them accountable, but there have been a number of things that have happened that have um, resulted in many acquittals. Um, and so it's been a mixed, the, the results are mixed at best.